guys, I'm at the Wild Horse and Burrow Adoption Event in Ocala, Florida. Now a lot of these horses here today are from the online corral and that happened back in August. This is October now, so it's been a few months. But there are some that are available for adoption. So approved adopters who have done an application with the BLM and meet the requirements for the shelter trailer um, fencing, they're able to adopt these. All right, so this is pen one. We've got yearlings in here, mostly fillies. We've got a few geldings as well. And they are, I believe, all from Wyoming. Got some nice alfalfa. Look at that alfalfa. Oh, hi. Hi, baby. Hi, Sorrel. All right, this is pen two. Pen two is geldings. Some of them are from the online corral. Mm -hmm. Some are sale eligible. So the ones in the online corral have already been adopted. So they are waiting to be picked up by their adopters. Hi. All right, so this is pen three. And in pen three, the OLC stands for Online Corral, so those ones have been adopted. Rachel's getting a video of them. So some are sale authority, some are waiting to be picked up by the Online Corral. All so we are early to the event, so I don't believe there have been any pickups just yet. All right, so in pen four, we have mares, and this pen is all from the online corral. So these guys have all been adopted and are waiting to be picked up. So it's a big, a big pickup weekend. This event runs from today until Saturday. So they're all from the online corral. Let's go over to this pen here. We've got pen six. These are also from the online corral. All right, so in pen seven, whoop, looks like they're gonna do some sorting over there to get ready for a pickup. But in pen seven here, we have more from the online corral and a few that are sale authority here. So yeah, lots of horses that are here for pickup and it seems not a ton are for adoption today or sale eligible today. And then in this last pen, pen eight, we have a three-year-old bay mare who is available for adoption. When one of the adopters arrive for pickup, the horse has to be sorted so that it can load into the trailer. This often starts with separating a small group of horses into another space. They return the other horses until they're left with the desired one. All right, they just returned that gray. And we have two of these sorrels now. Mm -hmm. 
The desired horse is then moved down the center aisle, and that's where the loading begins. I didn't catch this particular horse loading, but you'll see the loading process in a bit. I continued to walk around to observe the horses. Pen five. So five five three five was the mare. And these are all from the online corral, so they've all already been adopted. I moved down to the loading area to watch a couple of the horses load. This pickup location cut all of the neck tags off the horses before loading. Some adopters will also request to have their horses haltered. And the morning rush began with a lineup of trucks and trailers waiting to pick up their horses. Yeah. Some Mustangs were relatively calm during the loading, but others were absolutely terrified. was on the online crowd and she was in one of my videos that I did it's 3694 she's going to be big she's already she's only three and I believe she was 15 hands when listed online but I would say at least hi these were all again from the online corral in August. I then went back down to the loading area again. <laughs> they cut the tag off and then load. So this trailer is pulling away and immediately they've got another one lined up and ready to pull in. So yeah, this morning has been fast paced. These horses are getting picked up, heading off to their new homes. Here's the next one coming in. So it looks like they're in the middle of sorting right now. So putting these ones back into the pens. Once they've separated the desired horse, they return the other ones back to the pen. This was done a couple times. Then they were left with the gray they wanted. All right, 
right, so we are four hours into the event here and a lot of Mustangs have already gone home. It's been a very busy morning, so it's starting to quiet down a little bit, it seems. So we're just checking to see who we have left. This bay, 1975, Rachel and I really love. That is a beautiful bay, a big bay. Seems pretty calm too. I feel like she's the leader. Like I feel like they all sort of stand behind her. She doesn't jump around when they jump around. This one was from the online corral. Now, for those of you who don't know, the online corral is an auction that happens about every other month on the Bureau of Land Management's online corral website. The online corral allows an adopter to select a horse remotely, should they win the bid, and then have it shipped to one of the scheduled pickup sites for that event. Each event will have different scheduled pickup sites available, and Ocala happened to be one of them for the August online corral. They're sorting. Yeah, it's really quieted down since the beginning. This horse is really cool. She came up to me and touched me. She was very calm. Like drooling over her. Yeah. So if all goes well, 1975 will be in the Mustang Classic for the first of its kind English competition in Lexington, Kentucky in September of 2024. She certainly was a popular horse here today. That big black one is a viewer's horse they're going to be picking up, I can't remember, either today or tomorrow. That is tag 3792 though, the big black mare. She's big. Oh, hello! Alright, 
another one is leaving. Not sure which one. There's the big black mare. Looks like she's got a little rub on her butt. Three, seven, nine, two. You are big. So these horses were in the back pen earlier. This guy right here, 3902. We met someone who had, saw photos of it in the wild. I think their friend took photos of this horse in the wild. Um, they called it Teddy because the ears. Today we're going to leave and come back tomorrow morning and see how many more horses are gone. But quite a few were adopted today, quite a few went home with their adopters from the online corral. So This is day two. Babies! We heard that there are only four that are available for adoption still. So all the horses here are adopted but four. This is a very cute baby. What a pretty face. Hi! Oh, hi! So this girl right here is available for adoption. She was the first horse I touched yesterday and seems to be very friendly. So so. She is tag number 4140. She's a two-year-old bay mare from Wyoming. Seems to be a very sweet horse. So this is pen five and there are only three left in this pen. And then in pen six, there are four remaining to get picked up. In pen seven, there are four Mustangs in here. Tags 9697 is available for adoption still. So she is one of the four remaining waiting to be adopted. She's a four-year-old bay mare from Nevada. She's a sale eligible Mustang. All right, in pen three, there are three horses that were from the online corral waiting for pickup. Pen two, there are two Mustangs, and these horses were previously adopted, but their pickup was canceled, so they are now both available for adoption. 4366 and 2311, available for adoption. And in pen one, there are four remaining horses waiting for pickup, and it looks like one is about to get picked up. Wow, you're beautiful. It was then 3792's turn to be loaded.
This trailer was picking up for several adopters, so the first horses to load were the ones that were getting dropped off last. Then it was the big black mare. At this point, all of the Mustangs at this event had been adopted. However, there were 10 Mustangs left waiting for pickup, so if an adopter canceled on any of the Mustangs, then they would become available for adoption again. There were 66 Mustangs that came to this event, and of those 66, there were 20-some that started out as available for adoption, and the rest were already adopted through the online corral. If you found this video interesting, check out this video right here. I do a ton of videos on all things Mustang, so be sure to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and best of luck to all the adopters. Bye.